What is going on, Graveyard Shift family? Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Ooh, y'all see the bags under my eye? I'm going to put some, I got to do some, uh, <laughs> what's the equivalent? You know how you get rid of a hickey? <laughs> you get the whisker or ice. What's the equivalent for getting rid of a hickey but for bags under your eye? Good morning, Graveyard Shift family. I'm going to give everyone a little time to get in. It's very, very early, y'all. Uh, it is 7.45 in the morning where I am. What's up, Jillyfish? Nisi Love, Mary, Amy, SJLD, Julie. Good morning, everybody. Y'all, I haven't been on live in a minute. I wanted to come out here and do a live spirit box session. So I'm gonna give everybody a few more minutes to get in. Good morning, Jen from England. What's up, y'all? Thank y'all for tuning in this early in the morning. It is literally 7.45 in the morning where I am. And I wanted to do a morning spirit box session. So we're back at the Smyrna Memorial Cemetery. Y'all, I've been everywhere these past couple days. I feel like I've been all over the place these past couple weeks, man. I've been in Tennessee, I've been out the country, I've been in Dallas, in Georgia. So I'm finally back at home in Georgia. And I'm back at the Smyrna Memorial Cemetery. No, I'm going to find some more cemeteries later this week. I don't know. I start to get kind of comfortable at some of these cemeteries because I feel like a lot of the spiritual activity uh, comes through a lot stronger as we start going to some of the same places more and more and more. So it's cool to go to other cemeteries, but it's just like when I get there sometimes, I have to scout the area. Then I realize there's like really no shaded area. Then it's too hot. Then the phone overheats. So it's like, it's a million cemeteries, <laughs> but not a lot of them are conducive to us like sitting down filming in the summer in Georgia. <laughs> so we are back at the Smyrna Memorial Cemetery. This is a cemetery with the over 300 uh, marked but unnamed graves. I like coming here because it feels like every time we come here, we do some great work. Like uh, either a spear crosses over or they find their families, or the conversation is just here. So, yeah. Hey, Leanna from Salt Lake City. Miss Renee, it's 647 where you are. You've been in the gym since 530. That's what I'm talking about. Healthy lifestyle, baby. I love it, I love it. So yes, y'all, I'm gonna give it a couple more seconds. And then, man, I'm gonna hop right into a spirit box session, y'all. I've been like itching. <laughs> to do some work <laughs> like this is becoming like it started off as like a hobby not even a hobby just like an interest like it's turned into something way 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 more way way more much love from dallas texas christina i was just there literally you asleep coco wake up coco it's early <laughs> we gotta be the uh the early risers all right Let's get to it. This is also the cemetery. Remember when that bird led us to that grave that was uh, covered in all the dirt? And I love creepy ass Ohio, Julie. <laughs> all right, y'all. All the spirits that are here resting, I literally just said my good mornings as I was walking in, but I would do it again for you all. Good morning to everyone that's resting here. The hell is that? Y'all, did y'all hear that? Hold on. Hold on. It literally sounded like somebody was clinking something over here. So on the other side of this gate is like the church or a building attached to this. But it sounded like somebody was banging something closed literally right here. I don't know if it was somebody on the other side of this fence. Hmm. 
That was strange. Like I've been out here probably 20 times, y'all. And I've never seen anyone in that building. There's never any cars out here, but it literally sounded like somebody was banging on something over there. That's wild. Okay, let's get back to the spirit box session, y'all. We just had to go check that out real quick because I'm always in this cemetery by myself. It was just kind of weird that I heard some banging noises over there. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't like another person. Or if it wasn't somebody trying to get our attention. Y'all know this, this cemetery, like they try to get our attention in a thousand different ways. Birds chirping. Okay, back to what I was saying. Everyone that is resting here, my name is Daylin. I love coming here, speaking to all of you all. If anyone needs any help, any communication, or just wants to talk, please know that I am here to do whatever it is that I can do. And thank you to you too. <laughs> Bird chirping. All right, y'all, let's see. Let's see where we are, guys. Would anyone here like to speak to me? That sounded like it said, Daylin. Family. Remove it. Remove it. Run. Run. Y'all, who's been keeping up with everything that I've been doing probably like the last month or so? Do y'all not find it strange that the name Mark keeps coming out the box now? Ever since Mark has been a part of the group? So that makes me think, y'all. Why would Mark be coming out the box so much? Is it our Mark that it's referencing? Or is it just like another Mark on the other side that we picked up along the way? I don't know. I'm gonna tell you what else has been coming up out the box too. That has been interesting. I haven't really acknowledged it yet, but there's probably been four occasions where the box has said, help Jawan. Who remembers that? Who's caught that? Like in the past, like at least three or four times we've gotten help Jawan. Now I see Jawan all the time and I brought it up to him once. I was like, yeah, man, I was doing a spirit box session in the graveyard, man. And literally, man, the box said, help Jawan. He just kind of looked at me. And I looked at him. <laughs> what you know that I don't know, brother? <laughs> so I don't know, man. I don't know. But let's be aware. Let's be aware of that. Let's be fully, fully aware of that, y'all. Could Mark be short for Marcus? Possibly, possibly. I ain't turning down no theories, y'all. I ain't turning down no theories. But yeah, so let's be aware of that. Mark and Juwan, let's see what's going on with them guys. Good morning, Mama Good morning. Judah. So who is this Mark that keeps coming up? Mark, are you here with us right now? Yes. 
to give to people. Something. 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 Something.
We up early working, pal. <laughs> we pulling in some overtime, baby. <laughs> but y'all, somebody tell me where we found Mark at. I mean, Walter at. Show the headstone again for those asking his last name to research. Uh, Walter. Last name is Nelms. N-E-L-M-S. Walter Nelms. N-E-L-M-S. April 10th, 1885 to March 29th, 1915. And he's buried here at the Smyrna Memorial Cemetery. So Walter Nelms, April 10th, 1885 to March 29th, 1915, buried here at the Smyrna Memorial Cemetery, y'all. Uh. All right, let's see. Sure. Um, you? Walter came out again. <laughs> Hi, Walter. Walter, is this your resting area, Walter? Walter, did we find you here or at another resting area? Walter, can you tell me your last name? They say no. Walter, do you know your last name? He said he does not. Okay. It's. It said, I asked Walter, do you know your last name? And someone said, he does not. Okay, so this Walter's last name is Nelms. So maybe it's not this Walter. And it would make sense to be the Walter from the slave burial ground because he may not know his last name. Mary Hilliard, thank you, love. I appreciate you. Appreciate you, thank you. Would that not make sense though? Would that not make sense for Walter to, if he was a slave, then he may not know his, his actual last name if he was born into slavery. So for the box to say he doesn't know it, okay, Detective Dalen, it got me leaning more towards the uh, Marietta, what, what, what's the name of that cemetery? Might be the Marietta Confederate Cemetery. Yeah, let's go. Somebody said Walter's last name is Lee. I don't know, let's go. Bill. So who is here with me right now? Y'all, as of late, the spirits have been asking for me to play music. What type of music do you like? Can I speak to one specific person, please? You said door. Can you tell me your name one more time? 
Can the name of the person that wants to speak to me come through? So I said Jack. Get up. Mr. Nelms, are you here with this? So I said no. Are any of the unknown people resting here available to speak? We have. What do you have? Thank you, Linda. Love, love, love. There's a lot. He's smart. It's hidden. What is hidden? Jack. Who is Jack? Hang up. Should I move to another area? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if that one's spot on, it seemed like nobody over here really wanted to come through like that. And we keep getting jacked. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie to you. This stuff is starting to become confusing. Like, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I'm the neighborhood bus driver. <laughs> and I just be pulling up to stop after stop after stop and people just be hopping on, man. But it's cool, it's cool. And it's interesting how like different areas of different great of like different resting spaces, the communication shifts. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. When I first walked into this grave today, I was drawn to go way over there. I have never done a session over there, but I was like, mm, ain't nothing for me over there. <laughs> and I came to the area that I always come. But it just seems like it's very, very just uh, quiet over here today. So I'm going to go over there. I'm going to go over to the other side. I'm going to take y'all with me. Take y'all with me. And we're going to see if we can address those that are resting over there. I've never gone over there as many times as I've been to the cemetery. And that's not cool. You got to show love to everybody. Let's see if the conversation shifts as we go to another portion of this resting area y'all while I got y'all thank y'all for you know supporting the video that I did at my grandmother's grave that was cool uh didn't know what to expect still don't really know how I feel about it me and my mom discussed it because it's her mom uh she went back and watched the video she got a little emotional and you know what's crazy, y'all? I'm going to be honest with y'all, man, because I, I feel like, again, I tell y'all all the time, I feel like y'all are family, and it ain't really too much that I can hide from y'all. But I think what touched us the most, my family, about the spirit box session with my grandmother is what she said about my cousin, Brandon. So she was like, I was like, are you with our family? And then she said, Brandon. She said he's out for a walk. And that literally touched everybody in my family, man. And just to be completely honest, 
and I don't even know if any of my family watches this, so if I'm, you know, putting too much family business in the streets, <laughs> I apologize. But uh, Brandon, man, say, man, we love Brandon. Brandon, man, I love Brandon to the, to the to the moon and back. But Brandon had a shaky past, you know what I'm saying? Like Brandon had a real, real shaky past. But Brandon was a great person, man, a great, great person. But he was just a street dude. He was, just, I mean, everybody wasn't born with the same privilege. And Brandon used to just do what he had to do to survive. And, you know, he, he got in trouble and all of that. But, like, in this later part of his life, like, he really got close to God. And that was, that was everybody's concern. Not concern, but that was just everybody's feeling when he passed away unexpectedly. Everybody said the same thing, like, damn, man, I just really hope Brandon made it, man. Like, he, I just really hope that he got his life together in time to make it to the other side. And just to hear from my grandmother that she was with Brandon, like, that just, lets, like, that literally made our whole family, like, just feel at peace. So I say all that to say, man, like I, I'm 100% I'm confident that my cousin Brandon is uh, definitely looking down <laughs> and not looking up <laughs> at us. <laughs> so yeah, all right, y'all, I'm walking around in circles now. Let me find a cool place. So over here, so over here, these are all the resting, I mean, unknown markers. So you got unknown adult, 315, unknown child, 316. You have unknown child, 339. You got an old Dutch master. We can't leave no trash in here, y'all. Man, we don't play them games. We have Butler Daniel, who died in 1894. Oh, that person has a, a marker, a name on their marker. We have Unknown Baby 363. unknown adult 364 y'all y'all talking about some not that they rolling up in the cemetery y'all i don't even tell y'all half the stuff that i find in cemeteries y'all when i be out here seriously i if i told y'all how many honestly like open and used condoms <laughs> that i have literally walked up on in cemeteries since i've been doing this you would be horrified. Unknown adult, 378. So this whole area is literally surrounded. Oh, Y'all, come on, man. Unknown baby. 374. Unknown child, Mr. 373. Yeah. See, the only thing about music, y'all, I want to play music, but y'all know how that go. As soon as I start playing music on the live, I'm going to get flagged and hit with a copyright strike. YouTube be acting real funny about stuff like that. Unknown baby 353. Unknown child 352. You said go to 316. Y'all, these numbers aren't really like <laughs> they're in order, but they're not in order. Uh 316. Who is this? Unknown adult, 312, 313, 315, 
This is where y'all this is where y'all said do a spirit box session. Okay. Y'all, I can't play music while I'm recording on my phone, family. I would have to then end the stream. And I can't play music on the stream because I would get hit with a copyright and my page can get taken away. So what I will have to do is end the stream and then play some music. Until I find some royalty free music and all of that stuff. But yeah, man, YouTube, they play a dirty game, y'all. YouTube plays a dirty game. Here, let's go this way. All right, y'all, here we are. I'm right next. Unknown child 316, unknown adult 315, and a slew of other markers. And then you have these headstones that are marked graves. Let's see. Let's see if the conversation shifts. Since that I moved. My name is Daylin. Did you see me on the other side of the cemetery? But I did. He wants. He wants. Can, can you tell me your name? Somebody said I like her. Are you resting around me somewhere? Tall figure. Or a tall figure. Can you tell me the number that's on your grave? Did that say two? So. Can you tell me the last number that's on your headstone? Did that say 15? That either said 15 or 16. Mind you, if it said 15, then we have unknown adult 315 if it says 16 then we have unknown child 316 so it said one of the two it said one of the two y'all i don't see how people can't be believing some of this stuff man i ain't making this stuff up i don't know how to do that <laughs> we y'all sat here live <laughs> and followed my black butt from walter <laughs> to over here Y'all told me to come back over here to 16. And it either said 15 or 16 when I asked for the last number. So that's interesting. So I feel like we're in the right space. Can you tell me your name, please? Dodger. 
Or did it say Rogers? Can you tell me how old you are? Are you at peace resting here? Found it. Somewhat. It's difficult. It like it. You like it? Are you with any of your family? Yes. Most of us. So that makes me wonder. Like, are a lot of the people resting in this cemetery related? Like, could there be relatives in this cemetery? Could some of these unmarked spaces be relatives of one another? Uh, it sounds like somebody Don needs prayer in our shift family, y'all. I didn't, I didn't catch the message. So blessings to Don and her family. Blessings out to Don, y'all. Is there anything that we can do for you? Did he say get up? Do you want me to move around? Sound like nobody would talk to me today. He said he would. Who is he? Hang out. Do you like for people to come visit you all? I went upstairs. I went upstairs. What is this upstairs you keep speaking of? No. Did I say get up now? I'm going to ask y'all one more time. Do y'all want me to move somewhere else? Yeah. Yep. Say y'all. Uh... <laughs> Why don't nobody like me today? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I'm feeling a little neglected today, guys. Why are they treating your boy like that, man? I feel like let me move around. I feel like that. Uh, y'all remember on Forrest Gump? Can't sit here. <laughs> you can't sit here. <laughs> Why I can't sit over here, man? Come on, man. We finna go over here, y'all. We gonna find somebody like us. You can't sit here. Hold on, y'all. We finna come over here. We finna come over here, y'all. Only thing about this, we're by the street. So cars might get a little get a little loud but I've never done a spirit box session over here either okay okay we back hey man where all the comments go y'all not talking to me no more oh there it is 
All right, y'all. Let's try this area. <laughs> and you know what I just said yesterday? I said, man, I ain't been kicked out of no cemetery in a long time. <laughs> now all these spirits just, uh, moving me around. Moving me around. What's up, everybody? Upstairs is heaven. Upstairs definitely, definitely is heaven. Y'all, I gotta take y'all to my, to West Texas. That's the plan. I gotta take my dad to visit his mother, especially after I went to my mother's mother. Like now my dad is like feeling some type of way. And so much stuff happened out there, man. I wonder, so there's this church out there, right? So my grandmother lives, or lived, she passed away in March. She lived in this town called McCamey, Texas. McCamey, Texas is about 50 miles outside of Odessa, Midland, Odessa area. So this is West Texas, oil country, flat plain, it's hot as hell, just nothing out there. Literally nothing but oil fields and bobcats and like, it's just nothing out there. And I remember going out there. This is the same grandmother that made me touch that dead body. <laughs> I was visiting her. Black side of town. So there was a, a white store, black store, white church, black store, white pool, black pool. Like literally the town was like that. And so, of course, my grandmother stayed on what was considered back then the black side of town. But on the black side of town, there was an old, 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 old country Baptist church. Think about one of them churches that like you pull up on in the middle of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Where you're like, I know a massacre in this church. Like that was the type of church that's how it looked and then they had like a newer church a couple blocks away but at this older church this is the story now our my grandmother our aunts they could have just been lying to us but they told us that back in the day that there was this man that had a family and for some kind of reason i think he might have went had a psychotic break or something but he ends up killing his family his entire family. But for whatever reason, he ended up getting away with it. But they said grief overcame this man. And he literally would walk to this church every single day to ask God for forgiveness and to ask him for eternal life. Okay, that's the story. That's the story. And what happened was they said that this man literally walked to this church every day up until the day that he died. Now they say the spirit of this man literally walks to this church every night to continuously add for, ask for forgiveness, right? Y'all the sound going out? Okay, say it's fine now. Okay, perfect y'all so my grandmother's telling us this story and we can see the church the church is still there so it's like midnight one night and we're all having like a family reunion and all the older people is telling us hold on give me one second y'all hold on y'all they said the sound is cutting out hold on hold on can y'all hear me? Tell me if you can hear me. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me now, guys. Okay, we're good. We back. Okay, we back. So look, y'all. Literally, it's midnight. We're at my grandmother's house. She's telling us this story about this man whose soul walks to this church every night to ask for forgiveness. So we as kids decide that we're going to walk down to this church at midnight. 
All the adults in the family were like, yeah, y'all big and bad, y'all go walk down to the church. So we decided to go, it's like six of us. So we walk and I'll never forget. We get about halfway to the church and a black cat runs across our path. We're children, so we're very superstitious. And in our mind, that was just a surefire sign to tell us that we don't need to be here. So we ran back to the house. Just like kids, we convinced ourselves to go back. So we start walking again. And I'll never forget, we get right up to the front of the church. And we're looking at it, we're joking, making fun, all of that type stuff. Y'all hand to God, y'all. I had my back to the church. So I'm facing this way. My friend is standing in front of me looking at the church mind you this is a dirt road literally everywhere so there's uh rocks gravel like nothing is paved in this old old town so it's nothing to get like literally like a little pebble or something in your shoe something so small like that like in your shoe so my boy reaches in his shoe pulls out this pebble and y'all this is hand to god my boy throws this little rock. I'm talking about little, y'all. I swear to you, it was no bigger than this. No bigger than this. He throws it at the church. It hits the door. Mind you, my back is to the church. All I see is his face. His face goes from this to... Like, I had never seen... Like, it freaked me out. I turn around... Y'all, the front of the church had two big wooden doors. And as my name is Dalen Spratt, the doors on the church started opening up. I thought somebody was on the inside pulling the doors open like this. Y'all, when the door got wide enough for you to see, <laughs> Like if somebody was opening from the inside, they would be standing there. There was nobody there. Mind you, this is an old, dilapidated, if anybody was in there, it would have been like a homeless person or animals or something. Like nobody goes in there. That door, the only sense it made to me, it would have had to have been two people in that church, somebody on one side of the door, somebody on the other door, and they both opened them together, but hid behind the door. And that just don't make sense. That's just too random. Y'all, we ran. I have never, I was 10, 12. I'm 38 now. <laughs> I have not gone back since then. And when you go to my grandmother's house, you can literally come out her door and look down the street and still see the church. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that man that killed his family, <laughs> if that story was true, if they was trying to scare us, but we all saw those doors open. And every once in a while, we talk about that story to each other. We're like, do y'all remember that back 30 years ago? <laughs> yeah. There was no family there. Nobody was, yeah, they said, was our family members messing with us? They wasn't nobody in there. Nobody, like we left. Like they told us, we were talking about the story randomly and the kids walked out the house and went there. Like nobody, Nobody ran out before us and got like nobody knew that Lionel was going to say, let's walk down there and see right now. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't a planned thing. It was very, very much so in the moment. So I don't know, man. I don't damn know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but what I do know is. I hands down believe in the spiritual world. Y'all, I'm going to do a couple more minutes of a spirit box session. And then I'm going to get to recording because I came out here to record some graveyard shifts for the week. So I didn't really mean to be out here this long. But y'all know how I am, man. Y'all get on here. Y'all start talking to me. That's what I said. They ain't have time to set up nothing behind the door. And that would have been a two man. That would have been a two man quest. And for one person to have done it, they would have to have been already set up and already had it planned out. Like that ain't nothing you could just figure out on the fly. Because they would have had to a broken into the church. 
climbed in through a window or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, it would just been too much for my old ass grandma <laughs> to be trying to do at the time. <laughs> but yeah, man, it was wild. It was a wild, wild, wild experience. 100%. It makes me want to really go back to that town and like search and have those, look for those experiences again. Y'all, there's so many people. <laughs> I have never felt so judged in my life. There are so many people walking past me and I'm right by the gate at the cemetery and all they see is me talking <laughs> in the cemetery. <laughs> That lady just gave me the, uh, sir, are you okay? <laughs> are you okay? She gave me the, are you okay look? <laughs> Yo, I'm finna get up out of here, man. Let me do a couple more minutes. Let me do some more sessions. Today, the goal for today is to find more cemeteries, more interesting cemeteries that we can go visit. Yeah. Yeah, because I just know there's so many more places. They have so many more stories. I shot some stuff this past week. Me and Mark did. So we're getting all that stuff edited up. So be on the lookout for those videos. I took it outside the graveyard, y'all. I took it outside the graveyard. Y'all been like, when you going to leave the graveyard? Y'all, I found a haunted school. <laughs> it brought me back to Ghost Brothers days, y'all. I forgot about the feeling of investigating. Doing the graveyard shift, I have gotten very, very comfortable sitting in graveyards during the day, just trying to have conversations. Like I've gotten very, 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 very comfortable doing this and I love it. But I've also gotten away from paranormal investigating, like really going to haunted places, bringing out equipment, and stuff happening <laughs> y'all we went to this haunted school in tennessee they say this little boy got killed in the school man when he was little and now like this place is just rampant with spirits it's abandoned i ain't gonna lie to you we broke in there we could have gotten arrested we definitely could have got arrested we for sure could have gotten arrested <laughs> but we did and uh yeah i brought the rim pod man i brought the sls camera uh uh we did just a very little spirit box everything else was us touring and investigating like that's dope and tell you what else we did we did overnight in a cemetery y'all in tennessee well the plan was to stay overnight there's this big cemetery in tennessee and we bought a tent, but there's so much land, right? So like all over here is like hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands of graves. But over here is like a field with no graves. So we thought it would be interesting to put a, to literally try to stay overnight in the cemetery, but on the side with no graves. So it's almost like a park, but you're literally right next to the cemetery. So I was like, all right, what if we set equipment up outside the tent all night and a camera and just see what happens at night in a cemetery? That was the plan. <laughs> oh, it didn't happen that way, y'all. Y'all, y'all just gotta see the video, man. Me and Mark were having, the, we ain't even, we ain't even get the tent out the car. <laughs> We did not even get the tent out the car, y'all. Say, cemeteries are a whole different place at night. Cemeteries are a whole different place at night. Cause that was the thing, we was like, by no means do we ever want to be disrespectful. So putting a tent in the middle of graves, I feel like that's weird. So the only thing that made it comfortable was like, it's so much open land over there, you're not, you're not, you're not near, you're close to the graves, but you're not on the graves. You're literally like in a field next to it. Man. Yeah. Y'all gotta just see the video, y'all. We gonna probably drop that next week. That was crazy. I wouldn't, 
that was proof to me that I could never. <laughs> I ain't made it to go into cemeteries by myself at night, y'all. I ain't got there yet. Nope. So y'all, y'all can quit asking about nighttime cemetery videos, y'all. <laughs> not me, not by myself. Say it's a whole different story. It is a whole different monster at night, y'all. In this cemetery, y'all say. People put lights on the graves in this cemetery. So think about walking through a humongous cemetery and it's like, kind of like, you know how like a, a candle flickers? Like there's little lights people put on the graves out there. So they're flickering. You're, you're thinking you're seeing people and stuff. You're hearing, like it was, it was too intense. It was too intense. I would only ever go back at night like that if I had somebody with me, for sure, for sure. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit more of a spirit box session just to see if we can get some words over here. And then I'm gonna get out of here, y'all, so I can, uh, yeah, get the shifting and editing, y'all. I gotta drop way more videos. Hans, I don't know what you wrote, <laughs> but rock on. <laughs> I hope it says something good. And to everybody that was talking about the vampire video, so a lady kind of got upset at, uh, at me and Mark, man. She said that we were being blasphemous. And I kind of got offended, y'all. I kind of got offended. Because she was like, there's no proof that this man was a vampire and you're being blas blasphemous to this pastor. I was like, that's fair. But all we're doing is going based off of a legend and we're asking questions. I never once stated that this pastor was the devil or he was this or was that. She said that I said, what if he was a false prophet? By me asking that question, I was being blasphemous. Here's my thing. If you watch that episode, the story is this priest was preaching a service in the middle of the service, a pillar falls from the sky of the church and crushes him as he's preaching. The first thought in my mind came, why would, if a pastor is crushed in the middle of a sermon, my first question is, what was he preaching about? And could that be a sign of, like, am I wrong for asking them questions? I don't feel like that's being blasphemous. I don't know what y'all think. Hey, I accept everybody's opinions. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I welcome y'all's thought. What do y'all think? Buddy might have been a righteous pastor, 100%. But like I explained to her, I grew up in the church. My mother is a pastor, y'all. I have been around this life my whole life. I cannot tell you how many false prophets I have witnessed in person. And trust me, false prophets preach just as good or if not better <laughs> than your regular true prophets and that's real talk a hundred percent a hundred percent it's easy to be fooled out here man so i'm not saying buddy was was not righteous or he was a false prophet but if you get crushed in the pool pit while you preaching by a pillar falling from the sky <laughs> I think it's fair for Brother Dalen to ask some questions. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all know I love talking to y'all, man. I love talking to y'all, man. Y'all, say. I love talking. Say, my wife keeps texting me, y'all. Let me see what she wants, man. She probably cussing me out. Hold on. Let me write her back. Hold on. Give me a second. Before I get in trouble. I know how it is when you got to check in, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Have you ever tried to type a message on your iPhone? I mean, your iWatch? All right, y'all. Here we go. Boom. <laughs> right. <laughs> Go pick up that bread and milk. <laughs> I'm over here getting grocery lists. I'm trying to work, y'all. Shifting ain't easy, y'all, but somebody got to do it. She over here sending me grocery lists. <laughs> it's 
Stacy. Oh, I guess it is 8.45 in the morning, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to tell her y'all said hello. I'm putting it on y'all. She ain't going to get mad at y'all. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all, right, don't get in trouble. So let me do a little bit more and I'm going to get up out of here, y'all, before y'all see me in the doghouse later on. If y'all see me do a session later on this evening and I'm still sitting out here, <laughs> don't ask no questions. <laughs> Just know your boy is all right. <laughs> Here we go, y'all. Is anyone here that would like to speak to me? Mike. Mike. To it. Yes. Is there someone named Mike here? Mike. Mike, are you somewhere around me right now? This bird's literally right above me. We're right by the street, y'all, so we're gonna have a lot of like cars passing by. Yo, I'm gonna have to get up out of here, y'all. I'm drawing a lot of attention. People are starting to walk up on me. Like this lady over here is coming over here. She just waved. So, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here, guys. The block is getting hot. Hey, how you doing? Alright y'all, let me get up out of here y'all. It's getting hot over here y'all. Block getting hot. Say y'all, we gonna tune back in. Say, I might go live later on. Cut your, your mentions on. If I can't get, if, if Stacy don't let me back in the house. <laughs> if Stacy don't let me back in the house y'all. <laughs> I might be doing a session later on y'all. <laughs> but uh, thank y'all for tuning in with me this morning man. I ain't, I ain't mean to click on here for an hour. <laughs> I was... That's an interesting whistle. All right, y'all. Love, love, love. I'll catch y'all later on the day. And uh, be looking out for a graveyard shift. I'm going to start dropping way more. Way more episodes, y'all. So be on the lookout. Love y'all. Love, love, love.